Good morning, Stampin' Friends. Hey, everybody. Happy Movie Monday. Jody Breckbill's Stampin' Queen coming at you from my stamp studio in Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. So welcome, friends. If you're new here, hello. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're one of my regulars, hey, guys. Hope you had an amazing weekend. So we're going to do some stamping. And I have a couple cards I want to show you because celebration is running out. We are heading down to the wire here. The end of August is coming soon. And this celebration will be over. So we're going to work today with a beautiful DSP called Rings of Love. This sold out for a hot minute, but we got some back while supplies last. And it is actually a 12 by 12 pack but I cut them down for video purposes. So it's kind of got a little bit of everything here. A little bit of holiday, cute little fat birds. We love these. The little houses. There's some poinsettias that could be Christmassy. If you're a winter wonderland person, there's some fungus among us. And then we've got the wood grain that works with the embossing folder and the uh, die that coordinates with this stamp set. There's our trees, some cool designs here. So this, like I said, 12 by 12 pack, totally free with a $50 purchase during celebration. So you can grab yours now. And then we're also going to play with another stamp set called Woohoo. <laughs> That's what I call it in my studio. It's called Amazing Phrases. It's this one right here, but I call it the Woohoo. So it's got some great uh, words, uh, combination of words, which is great. So we're going to do a little bit with that today too. But before we get rolling, I want to do a little housekeeping while some of you guys are coming on. Uh, today, actually, August 22nd is the last day to join my Home for the Holidays virtual event and get the early bird bonus. So you will get seven make and takes with this class, but if you register today, you will get an eighth bonus project for free. We are focusing on the very best occasion stamp set, and you're going to get um, some things that we used because this is a kickoff for the holiday catalog. So your projects are going to be using items from that holiday uh, holiday thing, that holiday thing, that holiday catalog. So uh, scroll down to the description and there will be a link there so you can sign up today and again get that bonus project. Then I want to make sure you guys know this is a exclusive sale just for you. So if you are one of my peeps and you are watching this, you can use my exclusive link, my affiliate link to stamp and storage the 22nd to the 24th and get 15% off store wide. The only way to get this is by using my affiliate link and then here is my just for you 22 code. So again, hop down to that description, look for the link and shop that. One thing I'm always asked is if I use your link, does that affect my points? Absolutely not. Your points will still count. They will go onto your account, but it, you're just using my affiliate link. And actually that gives me a little bit of, of um, a kickback from them. So exclusive affiliate sale, 22nd through the 24th. Now it depends when you're watching this. This sale does begin at 8 a.m. Central central time. Okay, so you want to make sure that you know what time zone you're in to be able to take advantage of that sale. 22nd through 24th. All right, guys. So let's get rolling, shall we? Got lots to do today. Lots to do. People to see, things to do. Where do we want to start? Let's start with this one here. Okay, so I got pieces and parts here. And we are going to make this card right here. Super cute and easy. Could be used for the holidays. Could be used as a we moved or welcome to the neighborhood kind of card. Or just change out that sentiment and make it anything you wish. So we're going to kick off with some evening evergreen. That'll be our card base. And dimensions are always in the description of each video. So after it's over, just scroll down. If you want to make these cards at home, I do write the dimensions down for you. That way you can hang out with me stress-free and then catch those dimensions later. Now I went ahead and ran that through an embossing folder. It's the brick and mortar embossing folder. So I went ahead and did that. But on this one, I used the music notes. Um, it's cute, but I thought with well, a brick and mortar, let's try that and see what that looks like because that's a little bit more like a house. 
One thing I do think is I missed my bling. So we might just use whatever bling I have laying around here. So the brick and mortar is kind of cool because you can use either side. It, it's really dealer's choice, whatever you like. So I'm going to go with the debossed side. I need to wake up my seal here. He was sleeping over the weekend. I did do a lot of stamping on Saturday. Did you guys get, get to get crafty? I had my son headed back to college. So we are back to empty nesting. He was only here for a short uh, short time anyway, like two or three days, because he did an internship in Georgia this summer. So he flew, flew back through Chambersburg, hung out with us for a little bit, and then headed back to college. My husband is working on our farm. And so I did have a stamp day on Saturday, which was amazing. Just me and my stamp studio. Now, let's do some stamping here. We've got Evening Evergreen ink. And I went ahead and did that uh, stitched circle from Stylish Shapes. And I'm going to stamp Love and Warmth over here in the corner. That's all we're doing for stamping. Now, I wanted to show you that ribbon. Does that ribbon look familiar at all? You might kind of be like, hey, where'd you get green ribbon like that, lady? Well, let me tell you, friends, it is the seafoam seam binding. So I cut a couple piece of the pieces of that, and I need some scrap paper for sure, because we're going to dye it. So let's pull this in because I don't want to get that on my on my table. So in order to dye ink, there's a couple ways that you could do. I'm going to go with the good old stamp and blend, but you could uh, dip it into some water with your reinker. You could dye it that way. You can also do your blending brushes across it. You can also just run it through your ink pads as well. But I find sometimes this is just as easy. So I'm just going to color it real quick here with my evening evergreen blend. I am gonna give it a couple seconds to dry. I personally feel like this is faster and less messy than some of the other ways, but you know, if it's not what you have at home, you gotta use what works for you. And it really picks up the color super, super quick. And it will dry because this is the alcohol marker, but while I'm giving it a couple seconds to dry, we're gonna cut out one of the houses from that designer series paper. So we'll let that, We'll let that set for a minute. Got a little house here out of that DSP. And we're just going to do a little trim here and free that up. So got my amazing paper snips. And we're just going to do a little trimmy trim here. I wanted one of the bigger houses. Some of them are a little bit, were a little bit too small, I felt. So I grabbed this one and I liked that it was green because it coordinates with my colors. Did I tell you what colors I used? Uh, Evening Evergreen and Mint Macaron. You might think that is soft succulent, but it's not. Speaking of snot, there goes my runny nose. Every video, you guys. Like clockwork. Okay, there we are. And our ribbon should be dry, so we're good to go. So while we're putting this together, we're going to attach our circle first. I'm going to have that uh, on there with no dimensions. I don't want it too popped up because I want to put dimensions on the house. There we go. Then we'll do one of our green strips here. Which one do we need? This one? Yeah. So it's going to come across here. So if you guys are catching me uh, today, you may be on YouTube. You might also be on Facebook as well. I'm, I'm on both of those at the same time. So come on in and say hi. Make sure you follow or subscribe because I am on YouTube every single Monday for Movie Monday. There we go. Gonna add some dimensionals to my house. 
You can change your notifications as well. So if you see the little bell icon, just click that and change your notifications so that you're alerted whenever I am here. So technically I'm, I'm on uh, Movie Monday on YouTube, but it does stream over to my Facebook page. And also on Facebook Live every Wednesday. And I am gonna do my best, you guys, to um, be live with you guys on Wednesday, but I am leaving for New Orleans on Thursday. So I have a very busy week trying to get packed and ready and be able to go visit all my demonstrator friends down in New Orleans for our leadership event. I'm so excited. This is our first first one, you guys, in how, like almost three years. It's been a long time that COVID just changed the world, didn't it? All righty. So there we go. Isn't that cute? And so easy. Now here I added some sequins, but um, I don't have any on me. I do have in color opal rounds and I've got those evergreen ones. So let's use those, shall we? So let's grab our picker tool here. And we'll put one here and there. And then how about one down there? All right, beautiful, simple card. You could use that for the holidays or so many other things, okay? So we've got that one down. I've got two more that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's, or maybe I only have two. I swore I had a third one. We'll see, it might just be on, I get piles of stuff here. So this is what we're gonna do. Hey, you did it. How about that? That can go for anything too. Super cool card. So that's using the Woohoo stamp set. And this one may be going to my daughter. She actually has her first day of classes today. We moved her up to Long Island, New York, and she is starting a graduate program. She's getting her PhD in neuroscience. So today are the first classes, and so I thought maybe I would send her that one. Um, and then my son is also starting classes today. He is a senior uh, this year. So my gosh, how does it, how's the time go? It just goes, it just goes so fast. So good luck to both of my punks today that they have good first days of school. It seems so weird that it will be Junior's first last day, last first day. It's his last first day of school. So we did this designer series paper. Again, dimensions will be in the description. Um, and it's a little bit busy. So I'm going to add a layer of vellum on there. And that just tones down the busyness of that DSP, and then we'll let my sentiment kind of pop a little bit. Now, I am really weird about vellum. I don't want my adhesive to show through, so I'm just going to tack it here in the middle and kind of let it be free on the ends. Uh, the one thing that I do love for vellum is the paper pumpkin glue dots. So if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, those little thin glue dots, they work perfect with the um, vellum. Love it. Now ahead of time, I die cut this shape. So it's a circle, but it's got some embossed, um, an embossed circle on it. And that is from Beautiful Shapes. So a lot of you guys ask me where I get my magnets and these little cool sleeves that they go in. Stamp and storage, y'all. And then I don't think I have any with me, but I also like the stamp case that has the little clips on the side that will hold your magnet. So you, if you want your magnet or your, your dies to stay with your stamp set, there's some, some stamp cases you can buy that have clips that hold the magnets in. Super, super cool idea. But anyway, Beautiful Shapes is the one that I used and you can check these out 15% off. All right, let's grab our Evening Evergreen again and our Hay. So I'm just going to stamp that right there. And then I have Pool Party, which that's what this is. I don't know if I mentioned Pool Party. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. You did it. You could also use Woohoo, but it wouldn't quite fit on here. So we're going to go with, hey, you did it. 
you had your first day. It went well. You didn't die. <laughs> All right. Let's add this with some dimensionals. A couple little pop tarts on here. And then we're going to do some more fussy cutting. So I'm going to scooch this down just a smidgy smidge because I do want to put an embellishment here. And that is actually just the center of this medallion. Now I should have cut this out ahead of time because it makes my brain hurt a little bit <laughs> to make sure that I am following on the right lines because I'm, I want to just cut out the center panel. I don't want, I don't want the big, the big leaves. So again, my amazing paper snips. If you guys do not have these snips, highly, highly recommend getting yourself a pair. They make fussy cutting so easy. All right. Yes, we want this one. And this one is hand done. So I don't know if you ever watch any of the videos. I sometimes post them over on my Facebook group uh, that when Stampin' Up! will sometimes do videos on how our designer series paper is made, which is super cool because they actually have artists come in and create the, create the images on canvas. And then they just copy it bunches and bunches of times to make our gorgeous paper. So I love that our paper is hand designed. It's super fun. And this one definitely looks like it has been watercolored. Oh, we're super tight right there. Might have to, can I round it a little bit? Yeah, there we go. All right, coming down to the wire here, everybody. Oh no, we were too close to an edge here. Boo. I have a, oops, can I fix that one a little bit? That little point is missing because it was the edge of the DSP. Oh, well, it's okay. Don't tell anyone. So we're going to do a dimensional here. Can I hide it somehow? I could stick it under there, but it doesn't quite fit. There we go. Now I wanted to add a little ribbon. So we're just going to take, this is the pool party sheer ribbon. And I'm going to tie a bow on this one. I'm going to really fuss with it because I want it to be super, super small. Sometimes bows get a little tricky when you're trying to send them in the mail. This is another uh, ribbon that you could dye as well, but I wanted the pool party. So do we have snot dots here? We sure do. Grab a little booger and stick that little booger right on there. That's going to hang out right there at the bottom. And now everything's better with bling. So let's pull these back in. And I'm definitely going to go with the green again because I really, really liked how it popped off the page. So we're going to do a big one in the center there with our medallion. And then I've got, I'm going to just sprinkle them on down here. And there we have a, hey, you did it card. Hey, you did it. Alrighty, I've got one more to show you and it's very, very simple. And this one then, you know, sometimes you might need to apologize. You might need to tell someone you're sorry or so sorry that something is happening in their world. So we've got a sorry card, but you could do anything. And actually, I might change this out um, to I miss you. I might do that. How about that? Uh, where might it be? I think it's this one. Yep. So let's do, let's do, I miss you. And then we're so sorry. I can go back here. So I've got, this one is my base, right? So this is basic white thick. I do like to use the thick white for, for card bases. And then we've got a piece of the DSP again from the Ringed with Love. 
So we'll add that here on the side. Ah, you two do not belong together. I liked these colors. They put together some colors that I have not been using very much in my stamping, and that is Poppy Parade and Mint Macaron. That has not been getting so much love at my house. And so I love when they put these papers together or these colors together, and I'm like, who would have thought? But I like it. Just trimmed off that little bit of extra. I've got some Poppy, oh, Sugar Booger. I'm missing a layer. Uh, okay, hold please. Okay, so sorry. I'm thinking that's bigger than I need. So do I have my baby trimmer? I do. Let's see if I can trim it down a little bit. So I believe I made it three and a half. So I want to do three and a quarter, I think. Yes, that's correct. So we've got a piece of that designer series paper again, and this is like the woodsy one with the little mushrooms and leaves and berries and butterflies. So we'll attach that and then that's going to go onto our card base. I'm not using dimensionals because I want to pop up these little, these little babies here. So these came out of the stylus shapes as well. If you guys don't have stylus shapes, what the heck and heck are you waiting for? Circles, squares, and banners with the stitched edging, they are fantastic. So you guys can actually head over to my online store and check out stylish shapes. You're going to love them. So I have some Poppy Parade ink and I'm going to do the, oh, that's, you did it. I don't want that. I want, I miss you. So this could be another card I can send to my kiddos. Because I do, it's, the house is so quiet when your kids are gone, right? I miss you. You have to be proud, like you have to be proud of your kids because they're doing amazing things. But then the mom in you is like, oh, miss my babies. All righty. So we're just going to mat these or mount these two together. So the little bit of that poppy sticks out on each edge and then we'll put that on with a dimensional. So pop it up. And I am missing my ribbon, but you guys don't need me to stop at what I'm doing to go get that. So here we go. I miss you. How about that for such a simple, easy card? I love that. Now I did on this one, you can see I did a little bit of our linen thread and just kind of tucked it under there. Um, I don't have any here with me, but you guys get the gist. And then we're going to add some gems. So let's do... I feel like the pink is too light. I'm wondering if we want to do this one or yellow because we've got, let's do yellow. This would actually be pale papaya to be exact because these are in color, but I think this works out, works out well. There we go. So how about that you guys for quick and easy mac and cheesy. So we have our, I miss you. Hey, you did it and love and warmth all using the ringed with love designer series paper that is getting ready to say goodbye to us in just a couple weeks so again you guys thanks so much for joining me and hanging out with me a little bit have a wonderful week everybody and don't forget to follow or subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a thing my mailing list link is also down below um so if you're not on my mailing list, I would really encourage you to sign up because that's who gets the information first. I always send everything out via email first. That way you'll know what's coming, what's happening, what classes I have, if I have special sales or offers, uh, and then I post it on social media. So um, go ahead and add your name to my mailing list. All right, everybody, have a wonderful week, and I will see you Wednesday on Facebook for What's Up Wednesday. Bye, guys.